Welcome to Social Studies Samurai. In this video, we'll show you how to create a fun and engaging activity where students practice online research skills with Google Forms. So, what does this look like for the user? Well, you've got your form, you have a description of the activity. The first thing you'll want to do is collect their name. Do that with a question or perhaps collect their email address automatically and they click next. Then they're going to be directed to their first question. So they read the question, they do their search on Google focusing on the keywords and then they type what they think might be the answer. If it's correct, when they click next, it'll take them to the next question. So they see that their answer is correct and they get a little more informational text, which just kind of teaches them a little bit more, hopefully gets them a little more interested. And they have an image with the Creative Commons attribution just uh, to add a little, uh, little more interest to the, uh, to the activity. And below that, then they have their second question. And remember, with all your questions, you want to put a little support text, one word, two word answer, uppercase, lowercase, that kind of thing. So if students type in the answer, and if they have it typed incorrectly or just have the answer incorrect entirely, when they click next, they're going to get this you know, red box around the response. That means they have to do a little bit more searching or maybe get some help from the teacher. So when they have that response, they again get a little more informational text, another image with the, uh, the attributions, and, uh, and then they get the next question. And they generally go on like that until they reach the end. And when they get to a point where there is no other question, that tells them that, hey, this activity is over. They click next and they have a nice little uh, message at the end. Hey, great job. Your keyword search skills are pretty good. They click submit and then you get their responses in a Google Sheets spreadsheet. So, so you're ready to create your form and try this activity. Here are some things you might want to think about. It's a nice pre-unit engagement activity. It gives students a sense of what might be coming up in the unit and, and hopefully get them excited about it. It's a little bit of keyword search practice. They can really hone in on, uh, on the questions to, to learn to use keywords when they do a search. That helps build their skills as a researcher. Not extremely advanced, but also very important. Have your images, have your text, everything prepared, perhaps in a Google Doc, so you can just cut and paste into the form and things will go much faster. Include your citations. Please, please, please include your citations. We as teachers have to model for students, so we should be giving credit where credit's deserved. Run a test, log out of your account, try the form. If you do it, then you realize the mistakes that you've made and you can go back and fix them before you've uh, handed it off to your students. And think about gamifying it. Put students in groups of two or three. They can use a couple of devices. One searches, the other records as they work together to find the answers. Um, always, uh, always a little bit of fun in the class. So how do we create this? And remember, have all of your information typed out in maybe a Google Doc or a text editor, because when you go to build your form, it's a lot easier for you to just copy and paste when you're building your form. It's not. So the first thing I want to do is set up my form by giving it a title, uh, instructions and that kind of thing. So all I'm going to do is go back and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste from my document the text that I want to use. So I want to add my image. I just do that by going to the palette at the top. In this case, I have to download my image because Google allows you to upload, but it does not allow you, allow you to find a photo on the internet. I choose the section of the photo that I want, click done, and now I have my header and my color scheme. You may want to go to the gear wheel, set up your email responses, be sure that the students will get the responses, that way they can go back and look at it later on. Don't forget to click save. So now what I want to do is add a question just to collect their name. And this automatically creates a short answer. I always make it required. 
and I like to move on to a new section. So I go down here and I tap Add Section. So here it is, I give it a title, and I like to say something like, let's get started. You might want to put a description in here, and now I'm going to add my first official question to the quiz. So I go back to my form, I get my first question, and I'm simply going to tap my plus button to add a question. I paste it in there. This is going to be a short answer question, as will all of them be. Now what I want to do is make sure it's required so they don't skip over it. The next thing that I want to do is click on these three buttons down here. This is very important. The first thing is the description. I go back to my form. I've already written out the answer is one word and case sensitive. Paste it in there. And my first one answer is Otzi, the Iceman. So I'm going to go back down here to my three dots, tap on that, and I'm going to choose Response Validation. And this is where the magic happens, right? You want to tap on the arrow here. You don't want a number response. You actually don't even want to choose text response. Choose regular expression. And you don't want the word contains because they might add an extra letter, but they do have Otzi in there, but it might, uh, but it'll be recognized anyway. You want it to match. And then I'm going to paste in my exact response there. And then you could have error text like whoopsie if they've made a mistake. So now I want to add another section. This is where the answer goes. So when they get this correct response, they get pushed here. Add, you know, a new section. And then I type, yes, that's right. I like to have the words a little bit bigger. So I go back to my form and notice it says section header and informational text. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in. So now I want to add an image just to make the form look a little nicer. So I click on my add image button. And now I want to go back to my form and copy the URL and I'm going to tap by URL and then it gives me my image. Yep, that's the one. And so my image appears below here. I'll go back to my form again and I'm going to get my image text and I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it in there. And so now I've got my attribution and I've got a nice image and now I'm going to add my next question. So you see that in one section you've got the response You've got an image to go with the previous question, and then you add your next question. So I click Add, I go back to my form, and I choose Question 2. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to make sure that this is a short answer question. I'm going to go back again. I'm going to copy my instructions. Go back to my form. Make sure it's required and my three dots. I choose the description, paste my description in there. I go back to my form yet again. I choose the correct response. I go back to my form, back to my three dots, choose response validation. Again, regular expression, matches, paste the response exactly as it should be, and my custom error text. Now I want to add a new section. So now I have my section and once again I simply go back and I get my positive reinforcement text and I like it to be nice and big so I put it here not in the description and I repeat the process uh, and, and essentially that's how you do it. And at the end you might want to add another section and it might just be something like Great job. You're a master of using keywords in a Google search. And essentially, that's how you do it. Be sure to check that your link works by going up to the preview icon and testing it out yourself. Have fun. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you're a student or a teacher in subjects like history, geography, government, economics, check out some of the other videos. The mission of this channel is to help students build skills and teachers build their toolkit. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on the web at socialstudiesamurai.com. Hope to see you again.